What is Nintendo's obsession with starting Link off naked with these recent games? Like if I had a nickel for every time Link started a game naked, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot but it's weird that it's happened twice. Anyways, my best guess is so he's always ready to get some coo- So basically Link forgot to get a tetanus shot and his arm got infected, but it's all good cause this goat dude gave him a talking infinity gauntlet. Nah, I would not- mm, I don't want my hand talking to me. I don't want- no, no, no. If I'm trying to enjoy myself, I can't have my hand be talking to me while doing it. Oh right. If you ever see something that looks like it came from another unnamed platform that I definitely don't stream on and definitely am not going to do streams on in the near future, it's because that's exactly where it's from. Right. Getting off topic. Link starts in not the Great Plateau again? So he encounters some robots. Why, you may ask? Simple. It's because they're in the future now, and we as an audience need a tangible association to ground us and make us go, ah yes, after Breath of the Wild. Link ran around like a headless chicken for a solid two hours basically, and if you think I'm avoiding saying I ran around, then you're wrong. I'm just keeping your immersion. There were some big doors that the dog said we had to go inside, so Link had to collect Magnet Power 2.0, Funky Rivali's Gale, and the average Pokemon Infinite Fusion player's wet dream. Alright, fusion time. Fusion time. Fusion YouTuber. Oh yeah, somewhere along the way the hero of Homeless found some clothes. Anywho, with all this, the doors open and Link got Stasis 2.0, aka Recall, aka Rewind Time from Will Smith. <laughs> Oh, that's hot! That's hot! Link says bye-bye to not the King of Hyrule in ghostly form again, because Link is definitely not just in the Great Plateau, and jumps off and lives. Do you know how Link lives? Yeah, you probably do. Cause me in the future editing this probably edited in whatever clip there is that has Link jumping off and surviving. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here making this terrible retelling by not re-watching my VODs. Why is this the type of commentary I opted for this time around, you might ask? Well for one thing, I need something to set myself apart from other playthroughs, right? And for another, I realize I have no talent for doing speedruns. It, it was mainly the second thing I said. And so begins the lemur's task for Link to collect some stones and make Hyrule perfectly balanced as all things should be. Huh. Oh! Ah, my car is gone, isn't it? Link went over to Lookout Landing to see a nicely aged Apura. Is that a weird thing to say? It feels a little strange when I say it out loud considering she looked like a child in the last game. No, no, I'm just saying, I mean... Definitely not something that should be on anyone's digital footprint, but uh, woe is me I guess. Link stole Pura's pad and headed straight over to the watery area. Link has a bro crush on Sidon I believe, likely with some sort of bias towards Zora's or something given his, you know, track record. Though his sister or whatever is kinda built like Sid from Ice Age. That's just a random thought. Less importantly, the big pig turned the domain into what is essentially his toilet. Listen, Loki is shaped like one and the <laughs> is literally coming from above. You can't tell me he didn't go haha toilet go burr. Plus, there was this like mini boss dude that basically just looked like a booty hole that spewed <laughs> and everything. Side and get your ass over here. I missed! Oh my god. Go, go, go. Please. Please. Oh. Oh. Yes. Anyways, it's a simple case of chronic diarrhea, so Link just goes up towards the source, only to end up down in the sewage. Which brings him up to the actual source. Don't ask how that works, just accept it for what it is. Fishman went up to the source too, and the robot guys from earlier were littered around the Sky Island. The octopus that was <laughs> everywhere was as high as possible. Link became the hero of plumbing for this battle, having to spray the <laughs> with his liquids and utilizing Sidon's ability to make him quote unquote mega wet. Ooh. Oi. Oh lord, more story. Right. What happened here? There were champions way back in COVID times, way before the blue shirt gamers. Collectively, they were trying to stop the buff dude from selling his funky bath water, which I recently learned a surprising number of people would buy. 
They weren't able to stop him though, so Wolf Guy basically shut off his bath faucet. Anyways, this turn Link his first Infinity Stone and wiped the shit out of the fishbowl. For all of Link's troubles, Sidon became king? Wait, what? From here, Link went over to Canada to pay Santa a visit. Oh wait, Santa's in Antarctica. He was suffering from chronic cold unlike the elves in the local village. Once again, he was sent off on another quest with a strange looking child. Um, his backstory is that he's got, like, daddy issues? Superiority complex? Honestly, all these things sort of blur together at some point. Oh, I... Oh, I am a little dumb. Ah. Yeah, so Link, not me, struggled for a while to remember he has an ability to travel through ceilings. Silly, silly, Billy. Wait a second. Oh my. Oh my god. Anywho, there were more high robots, but this time Link has a travel buddy to get him wet along with the child. I should have phrased that a little better. Eventually the gang made it to... what was the boss again? Oh, right, okay, um, so there was this thing whose partner said they wouldn't love them if they were a worm, so they decided to become a worm and turn the area into a chilly hellscape. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Anyway, the Hero of Christmas still smashed it a bunch of times before he got tired out and resorted to shooting her up with his bow. Works for me. I feel like I should have been doing that the whole time instead of trying to slam it, but whatever. Oh lord, more story. Right. What happened here? There were champions way back in COVID times, way before the blue shirt gamers. Collectively, they were trying to stop the buff dude from selling his funky bath water, which I recently learned a surprising number of people would buy. They weren't able to stop him though, so Mongoose Guy basically shut off his bath faucet. Anyways, this earned Link the eye of Agamotto and caused massive global warming, but only at Santa's workshop. For whatever reason, the surrounding areas stayed snowy, so I don't really know what's up with that. Link continued into the trenches because it looks cool? The trenches are another name for Ganon's bathtub. He was storing loads of it underneath Hyrule beknownst to everyone on account of, oh, I don't know, the massive black and red holes littered around the world. In there, Link met Ganon's tier 3 subs who were eagerly awaiting for the bathwater drop. You know knocked a little sense into them that the stuff would probably give them HIV, STD, ABC, BBC, well, you get the idea. Link left after that though, basically never returning to the trenches. Instead, he went to find out more about the lore. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Ganondorf got a quick one pump on Dark Elf Mommy and did some silly face or something. She was alive again and like apparently her and the penguin been frickin' or something? Which is like, okay, like the anatomy and logically, I just don't think animals and humans are comp- You know what, whatever. Oh, and the raccoon purged Ganon of some of his loyal customers too. The elf was alive there too, so, mm hmm And then Zelda teleported into a distant land in front of the turtle and dark elf mom. Fast forward and Zelda pulls a classic Jake Long and she's got the Master Sword literally in her head. Swallowing the thing is a metaphor, right? She's not actually gonna eat it, right? Oh my god, she ate it. Bro, I thought it was a metaphor! What? I thought like eating it was a metaphor, like you know, you, you become the stone, not like you literally eat the f***ing stone. You think? Hey yo. So Link is like, damn, my girl a dragon now, and goes to somewhere on the right side of Hyrule to ride Zelda and pull his trusty sword out of her. A little more side questing occurred sometime between the beginning of this adventure and the end of this adventure that has some important story details to keep in mind. One, Paya is now unvisible. Two, Hatina Village took a page out of The Last of Us and is now a bootleg dead ringer for the Mushroom Kingdom. Three, massive Fs for the random seaside village because Link does not get paid enough to deal with this shit. He later headed off to what could only be described as Philadelphia but even more shit, and he eventually ventured towards a girls only club. 
At the door, the bouncer told him no, but he still managed to sneak his way in. Um, but are we not gonna... Are we just gonna ignore what they were teaching there? He also met the CEO of the club, Riju, who is somewhere between 15 to 18 years old. And remember this, folks. If you don't know their age, leave before you end up in a cave. Smash or pass, Riju. God, you guys are a little too fast with that. But if she's underage, how did she become the CEO of a club? I mean, duh, it's the work of fairy godparents. Or nepotism. Could be nepotism. Surprisingly, the yellow cloudiness or smokiness is from a pest problem rather than a anything else. This sounds like a job for the hero of extermination. In a turn of events, the pest's nest didn't have the robots. Oh, uh, never mind, there's still robots here. As you would think, the pest had a queen and that was the boss. Link used a combination of the yellow insecticide and the biblically accurate light of Jesus to do damage to both the bugs and the ozone layer. But it was... probably worth it? Oh lord, more story. Right. What happened here? There were champions way back in COVID times, way before the blue shirt gamers. Collectively, they were trying to stop the buff dude from selling his funky bathwater, which I recently learned a surprising number of people would buy. They weren't able to stop him though, so Lamb Guy basically shut off his bath faucet. Anyways, this earned Link the stone of I forgot what the color was and cleared out the weird piss air. Also, fortunately, or unfortunately, even after saving their little club, they were in fact not selling the femboy Link outfit. Next up was heading to the opposite corner of Hyrule. A lot of the residents there had bloodshot red eyes with like smoke coming from random places for some reason. The only conclusion is that Link has found himself in the middle of an average American high school bathroom. Big boy came around talking like a whole surfer or f boy. Some inflated ego probably from being within 50 feet of a girl. Yeah, I'm a Chad now. Even in the way he speaks, he's like, who's the president or who runs this city now? That's right, it's me, Yunobo. Turns out his El Tigre mask was just that new Apple goggle product thing, so there goes 3500 USD down the drain. With the power of friendship, a dash of stupidity, and a non-existent splash of ingenuity, Link made it up the volcano. Also, ignore the fact that Link has one battery. Like, it takes a whole segment just for liftoff, because Link is that dummy thick, and the weight from his ass cheeks cannot be sustained by this ride. Link, the hero of miners, went into the volcano to make some good soup. Shoot. Too narrow. Oh, even better! I'm just trying- I'm getting to a location faster! Chill! Tossing in things like robots and more robots into the tasty concoction. He went higher and higher in the minecart to get his final ingredient, crab. Admittedly, the crab was a little funky looking, but the recipe calls for it, so Link added it to the soup. Yeah, they're lit. I mean, shit. One way to put it, but yeah, the champions are literally coming all over me. Oh lord, more story. Right. What happened here? There were champions way back in COVID times, way before the blue shirt gamers. Collectively, they were trying to stop the buff dude from selling his funky bathwater, which I recently learned a surprising number of people would buy. They weren't able to stop him though, so Possum Guy basically shut off his bath faucet. Anyways, this earned Link the Stone of Stoners, and after feeding the residents Link's world famous hangover stew, they all rejected doing anything related to plants. Link's got a little paparazzi, so it was time to make like the renaissance and storm the castle. Link, unfortunately, does not attract, but rather he chases after Zelda, who's being quite a mean stepsister to him. Yo, what's up Zelda, let me step- Oh my god! Oh my god! Bro, what? Excuse me? Pause. 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 Eventually, the chase ended with Zelda having some big black guys come behind her, which is an oddly familiar sight. Unalive, unalive, unalive. Abuse stamina to compensate for lack of technique. Woo! Final boss done. Oh. Uh. I guess it's not the final boss. Link apparently doesn't have all the infinity stones and the rat's cousin needs to join Link's support group. He has to strip down into a replacement fanboy armor, sing kumbaya, 
get much higher, then suddenly get much lower, do a quick 180, and suddenly it's a mecha anime. Also, continue ignoring the fact that Link still has only one battery. Link had to mount Mineru and do a little Kaiju Ultraman Gundam style fight with a <clears throat> doll that succumbed to the bathwater. For once, the story was actually a little different. Well, only after the part where. Oh lord, more story. Right. What happened here? There were champions way back in COVID times, way before the blue shirt gamers. Collectively, they were trying to stop the buff dude from selling his funky bathwater, which I recently learned a surprising number of people would buy. They weren't able to stop him though, so Horse Guy basically shut off his bath faucet. Link finally sees the full story with the meerkat, and it turns out that he tickled Ganon until his stuff came out. Oh, and the mech in animal form told Zelda to not turn into a dragon, which is a very strange order to tell the story in since Link already saw her as a dragon. But uh, whatever. Last Infinity Stone acquired. Back to the surface. Oh no, who knows where Bathwater Boy is? Back into the trenches. It's super dark down there, and honestly, who knows why? Well precisely, it's a metaphor for capitalism. Off to beat up the pre-order enjoyers. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? A one? A two? Three. And would you guess it? Homeboy is literally right below Hyrule Castle. Almost like he has been there since the beginning of the game. Hmm. Link plays a little bit of Minecraft Dropper, a touch of frantic panicking, and a whole lot of running away. Ganondorf sends in his army of mindless followers, and with the power of the friends we made along the way, yeah, no, never mind. Link snapped his fingers, you know, all, and I am the hero of the wild type beat. And would you looky at that? They're all dust and guts. Ignore the fact that Link is missing like half his health already. Ganondorf wasn't affected by Link's snap though because, um, uh, plot armor? Plot armor. Let, let's roll with it. Anywho, unalive, unalive, unalive. Ah, here we go. Let's, you know, not cut off this fight too much and just let it roll. And just like that, Link has defeated Ganon. Wait, hold on now. Look at this. Look at this massive L here. Look at this dude. I almost forgot the thrill. All these sages can't flurry rush. Oh, there's a phase two. Bro, when is he gonna warlock smash and just go Doria? Oh, what the. F Oh, sweet Jesus. Hey, whoa, why is this- Wait. Whoa, 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 that's not symmetrical. Whoa, 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 that health bar is not symmetrical. And just like that, Link has defeated Get. Oh, come on! Easy peasy. Why is there a third phase? L. Ganon, I agree, I agree.
We got it! And just like that, Link... Oh? For real though? Oh! <sighs> Never mind. First try, of course. El Ganon. El Ganon. Yeah, yeah, spread of the bathwater is over. Anywho, Zelda stole a dragon, but luckily the ghoul of the cow, and for legal reasons, not his wife, come to undragon her. Thank you to those of you who showed up to the live streams for this playthrough. Interacting with you guys no matter how much time you spend on stream was really fun and I'll definitely stream more games in the future. And to those of you who made it all the way to the end, thank you as well. And you can also find where I'm streaming like literally all over my socials or in the description. Oh Link, I'm home. So now that you've reached the end and are staring at the infinite abyss of darkness, it kind of makes you want to play the saxophone, huh? Nah, I'm just kidding. Time to do the normal ending thing.